All right, Bonehawks, this video is all about Serena, and in this video we're tackling her Kia's Blades move, which is super annoying, and we're talking block pressure here. So kind of what do you do if your opponent just kind of keeps doing this on block? I went through the cast with every character. I'm going to talk basic strategy first, the options that everyone in the cast can do, and some cameo options. So that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> Accept your death. So there are some exceptions I've found, but 90% of the time, uh, when you go into the block string, you are able to block the first hit, and the rest of it doesn't jail. So you just take the first hit, and then after that, release block, be able to do that. I'm just using Shang Tsung today because that's what I'm familiar with, and that's what I wanted to set it up with. Let's talk generic first. So generically, across the board, everyone can wait for the second one to whiff, and then low poke. I went through and I tried everybody and that's an option with everybody. So if nothing else, you can at least get some some frames out of this and try and get your, your attack back. But you have to be careful about them coming back because once they're out, they're on the screen. You want to make sure that you don't get hit. Secondly, you can duck the blades and call out a cameo. Some cameos work better than others. So there we go. We got the Goro with the raise the roof. Sector can do his up missile, but you have to be a little bit, little bit uh, crazy on the timing because uh, he can get hit out of the startup, just like that. Boom! There you go. I aimed it at the wrong place, but it came out, so you can do it. So Sub Zero has two options. The first one, before you even get into the scenario, is throwing on the ice armor. You can't do it in the middle of it, or he'll get hit out. And then we just don't care about them at all. So, of course, just Sub-Zero things. The second one is you can actually interrupt with the forward and Sub-Zero cameo and then freeze them. We're going to take the hits on the way back, but we'll be able to get a combo after that. I don't know how to combo with Garrus, but you get the idea. So a couple characters that might benefit from these ones that I couldn't really find anything with. Maybe you know if you play those characters. The characters that I couldn't find really any dirt on that might need to rely on just the generic or cameo options were Natara, General Shao, Rain, or Havoc. So if you know of anything with them, post in the comments down below because we like to help each other learn here. So that being said, let's get into the specific ones. So some of these are super obvious and super easy, but maybe you just didn't think to do it. Uh, one of them is Sub-Zero, can just do a slide. It's weird because it looks like he should be getting hit by the projectiles returning, but he's actually low profiling them. And the same idea can be done with Reptile, just do his slide underneath. Nothing too fancy, but it is effective and it's fairly easy to hit. Baraka has a similar thing with his blade charge, but he doesn't really get as good of a one that Sub-Zero and Reptile do. Uh, although you do win the exchange by 20 damage, uh, you still do get hit, so this is kind of what that looks like. See, we get hit, but we did 60 damage and they did 40 to us, so it's, it's better than nothing, but it's not ideal. Here's another one with tricky timing, but it seems to work pretty good, is Smoke's back 2-3. He'll actually teleport underneath, and it keeps him completely safe. Boom. Henchies is good because it's consistent and it's easy, but it's unfortunate because he's the only one on this list that has to use a bar in order to make this work. So we do our back 1-4 to the enhanced shoulder charge, and the enhanced shoulder charge is going to eat that hit of the blades coming backwards. Keep us safe. Shoutouts to loot for this one. Oh, 147 damage for a bar. Not great, but it's an option. Scorpions isn't the greatest, but it's something. If you time your blazing charge properly, you get that second hit and you win the exchange. But if you mistime it, we actually lose damage on the trade there. Yeah, so there it came out. We got two hits, 80 damage. That's fine. We win the exchange. That's okay. But we switch positions too, so keep that in mind. 
So Shang has a lot of things he can do. Uh, this seemed to be the best one that I could find, but there's probably some better stuff out there. I thought there was maybe something to do with the old Shang and these fireballs, but they get cancelled by the Serena fireball. So we have this one here, and every once in a while you might be able to get the last hit out of it. But I've only really gotten three consistently. But either way, we win the trade, so that's kind of cool. 7850 versus the 40 damage we take, so... It's something. Melina can just ball roll. I don't believe she can get a combo or anything after this. But it's an easy punish. Uh, you don't even have to duck the second hit. You can just block the second hit and do a reversal punish. She'll get ball roll every time, and then she recovers in time to actually block the last of the blades. So, pretty simple punish. Don't get a lot off of it, but it's an option. And again, Reiko, same idea. You just do your little slide underneath. I said you do your little slide underneath. Takes a little bit of a hit on the other side, but we've largely won that exchange. Actually, by quite a large margin, so not too bad with Reiko. So Katana's is a little bit unique. We actually use this low profiling move here, and she's going to duck under everything, and that's going to hit our opponent and leave us in a plus situation right in front of their face. Boom, just like that. This is an example of one that is a little bit more utility and not exactly like a straight up punish. You would kind of use this to get an advantage and start your pressure. Low key, I think Katana is like a top five character in this game. Some of the things she can do is pretty, pretty dirty, but that's for another video. So Tanya has two options. You can either do the low drill. That does 70 damage, or you can just do her low string we're back 3-4, back 3-4-4, four, four, uh, which does a little bit more damage. I also found that one a little bit easier to time than the low kick. But either one, whatever you decide. Raiden's the same idea. He doesn't really have to think much. You don't really have to think much at all play Raiden, for being honest. But in this scenario, he just does his same low string. Goes right underneath it. I tried to cancel this into the uh, Titty Twister, but uh, you get hit by the last one if you try and do that. So maybe there's a timing issue. Raiden's pretty powerful. I'm sure there's something else people can come up with, but uh, that's what we got for now. Liu Kang's pretty basic. Low fireball. Crouches underneath. is pretty safe. You win the exchange. Nothing to it. There is something to this string, though. Uh, and I haven't really... Yeah, so that's really the most I've got on that, but we launch him and then we recover in time to do something. I uh, kind of ran out of time when testing this, but Liu Kang mains, like, definitely check that out because there's probably something there off of this one. Johnny Cages is one of the better single-hitting attacks. Holy, he jumped there. That's not at all what we wanted to do. We want to punch him in the wee-wee. Yeah, because he stays down and avoids them coming back altogether, and then we punish Shang Tsung for doing it in the first place. Bullseye. And if you had your height meter, you could punish it with like your full on, like, not punch combos. So that could be pretty crazy. And Kung Lao can do his little upward kick and actually get a little air combo from this. So that's probably the most, um, the most effective one out of kind of what I have is like kind of like the basic punish characters. Yeah, and then so 180 damage is, is, pre is a pretty good trade. I think that's the most damage we've seen so far. So from here we get into some more complex characters, but they really do get great punishes off of this stuff. So these are the, these are what I call, call the more like complicated punishes or the more specialized punishes, but you're definitely going to make them regret doing Kia's Blades in these scenarios. So the first one here is Sindel, and this one is a little bit tight on the timing. You have to hit your back two. It's going to be back two three that we're doing. You have to hit your back two just before the blades come back and hit you. Otherwise, your second hit of the string is going to get interrupted and you're going to get dropped out of it. So I don't need to tell you Sindel players how to do your combos. That's the one I came up with and it's 203 damage. But I think that's that's the highest we've seen so far, I think. Uh, but yeah, you can probably do way more off of that. So you just have to the timing is tight with that just to make sure that the second hit doesn't get hit by the, uh, the blades. All right, so now we're down to the top three 
punishes in my opinion these are the ones that will give you the most damage and will pay off the most so if you play these characters you're in luck so ashra can do her 2-1 she, then she'll get hit by the blades and you can still have enough time to hit your forward two into your launcher you can spend a bar if you want i have found that i'm not sure if it's like open and closed stance but sometimes this 2-1 i get hit out of uh, by the blades like prematurely and I'm not exactly sure I can't recreate it, it just seems to happen randomly uh, so just be aware of that but here's what it looks like when it does work yeah so we have 206 damage again you can spend a bar there but again a little bit of inconsistency I'm not sure if it's just timing it wrong or whatnot but yeah every once in a while I'll get hit out of that not really sure why that is but still that's a pretty big punish for just doing he has blades, something you think is safe. Li Mei is another one who is fairly consistent and can punish this with big damage using her forward 4 3 string. And again, this is pretty easy. Uh, you just have to wait until the blades are almost coming back and then you go into your forward 4. If you do it too early, they're going to hit you out like earlier examples and you won't be able to get your combo. But here's what it should look like. Almost 40% because you just wanted to throw out those those little blades like gotta think about these things you know what I'm saying and this one I think is probably my favorite because it's just super simple you just do the enhanced time stop and then you go into whatever combo Garrus does I don't do Garrus combos so I'm not really sure but here's what that looks like just make sure that you know you're going to be taking the uh Damn it. Hey, look, I just did a Garrus combo. 256 damage. What am I talking about? I'm, I think I'm a Garrus main now. So there we go. Options with every character on how to punish Serena's Kia's Blades move. If you have any comments or questions or you have a better punish, please post it down below so that we can share and we can all learn together. Side note, I changed stages exactly once in this video. Did you catch it? Just checking to see if you're paying attention. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't because I make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonox, all that stuff. And we'll see all you Bonox in the next video. Accept your death.